All right, everybody. I want to do a video on these power supplies. Dell Power Edge 6800. You can run it on 120 or 240. Um, there's the back of the amp. You see all the small pins starting at the bottom going up. A, B, C, D. Starting from the left going right. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's how you wire it up. If you want it to get a on and off on and off switch on it. Then you uh hook a uh wire to A1 and B6, hook those together and put it on one side of a to a toggle switch and the other side goes on B3. If you want adjustable fan speed Then you take pins C1, C2, and C4 and put them on a 1K pot. That's all you got to do. And then for your variable voltage adjust, got that on a pot as well. Goes up pretty slow if you want it to. If you want variable voltage adjust, then you get you another 1K pot and you take D3 and D4. D4 goes to the center pin and D3 goes to either side it don't matter which side you put it on a higher value pot gives you more range uh, of your fan speed and your voltage I'm using a 1k pot so what that means by using a 1k pot is the 1k pot will cut this voltage off at about 14.2325. It's got an automatic fail safe. Bang. Let's see it cut it off. I'll just flip it off. Put it back on. I usually run it about 14.2. Well, <laughs> this is about where I run it at. Uh, this fan can get pretty loud and pretty mean. Lose plenty of air. I think you'll have any problem, problem cooling it. But that is the Dell Power Edge 6800. Um, it's got five outputs five positives and five negatives each one of those banks are i forget like 28 amps or something and what i do is i just bend them all over together and bend each five together take a very hot soldering iron and uh, put my uh, solder there and heat shrink it real good but these are great power supplies uh, really quiet on the RF. Uh, if you're hooking them a CB or ham radio, don't hardly get any 
any RF. Matter of fact, I've done, I've converted, I don't know how many of these things, man, probably 40 or 50. And I think I've had two that had a little RF to put a little RF in the radio. And I snapped a little ferrite choke on there. It just took it right on out. So they are a workhorse. And uh, that's how you do it. Again, it will run on 240 or 120. And the ones I'm selling on eBay, they come with a pretty thick. This is, uh, this right here is chapstick. So if you want to compare, it's pretty close to the size of chapstick. Plugs into 120. So I don't know how you want to wire it up. Uh, 120 volts or 112.5 amps and uh, on uh, 240 volts or 130 amps and they're stout. Stout little pieces. Good for ham radio, linear amplifier, CBs, charged batteries, RC cars, whatever you want to use them for, they're great. Um, you know, there's plenty of room in here if you want to put you two little, little binding posts on here, whatever you want to do. Uh, they're great, great pieces of equipment repurposed for, for our hobbies. So, thanks for watching. And, have a great day.